Hydrogen Europe, the leading hydrogen industry association, has proposed a so-called Hydrogen Act, an umbrella framework aimed at harmonizing and integrating all separate hydrogen-related actions and legislations. This act describes the functioning of a future hydrogen market. The document was presented during a conference organized by the Portuguese EU Presidency in April. Super pleased that the Portuguese EU Presidency uh, used their high-level conference on hydrogen as an informal minister meeting uh, to present the Hydrogen Act. That was uh, a big deal, I have to say, and shows that there are some member states that are really keen on developing a hydrogen strategy and implementing it. The proposed Hydrogen Act delivers a pathway towards a hydrogen economy in three stages, as Hydrogen Europe Secretary General Yorgo Chatsimakakis explains. So we, we talk about the next three to five years, which is the kick-off phase. What do we do in that phase? Then the so-called ramp-up phase, where after the kick-off and after a certain volume, we need really to ramp up and a market phase where we will have a hopefully liquid, fluid market for hydrogen as a commodity. And if you ask me, Rotterdam as the place where the price of hydrogen will be made up because the stock exchange will be there. That's what I hope. On the one hand, the Act describes how to roll out the European infrastructure with hydrogen. The Netherlands is a very good example because you have started already to repurpose uh, some pipelines, especially the L-gas pipelines from L-gas to hydrogen fit. But it's not only the pipelines, it's also how to ship hydrogen, let's say from Sinesh, uh, let's say in the example from Sinesh in Portugal uh, to Rotterdam, what will it be? Will it be liquid hydrogen? Will it be ammonia? How to distribute the hydrogen gas to the main future industry customers? Chemical, petrochemical, fertilizer and steel are the biggest customers and so the first target. How to get the hydrogen from basically the port of Rotterdam but also the port of Antwerp, the port of Hamburg uh, to these clusters, that will be done first hopefully by pipelines between the hubs and these clusters. And how to accommodate the transport and mobility sector with hydrogen. We want to have a connection between the energy system, so the pipeline system, and the motorways. So we have so-called 10T corridors, that's trans-European network of cars and trucks. Uh, and most of them are somehow parallel. So you could really have a, a priority for backbone pipelines that are close to one of these corridors. So you could use the hydrogen from the pipeline directly in refueling stations um, and we would start with trucks. On the other hand, the Hydrogen Act describes the policy part, so the regulatory context. Which legislation do we need in order to create this market? It's about a mechanism to spur the production of hydrogen by auctions and at the same time to also spur the demand of hydrogen by levelizing the extra costs. Let's take a, a Belgian example. A big steel mill, a big steel company in Belgium says, we changed our uh, production method from cocoa to hydrogen. We need in the years 25 to 30, five megatons of clean hydrogen. So the auction mechanisms, it goes globally and says, who can deliver this? And then they take the cheapest bit. And at the same time, it will be still too expensive to be compared to cocoa. And this difference, the mechanism will cover by the so-called contract for carbon difference. It will be given until the gap closes so that uh, there is no extra cost of hydrogen in one. This is fascinating. And we proposed with this Hydrogen Act mechanisms. We describe these mechanisms uh, and it's up to the policymakers to decide which option they take. So now, here's a document that can pave the way to implementation. And that's why the name was chosen, Hydrogen Act. So Act is not one piece of legislation, but it's basically the idea to have an umbrella of existing legislation and to be created new legislation that helps hydrogen to develop 
and to act because this is very, very important, not just having a strategy, but to implement it, that's action. Thanks for watching newenergyforeurope.com.